What's up, my Sin City crew? I'm back again with another video. You guys, I'm here to do this video pertaining to the video I did yesterday. Okay, y'all. So, my thing is, I want to first, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for the input, the information, and the comments, the positive comments, you know, thanking me for you know, being a bigger person. I don't feel like I was being a bigger person. I just felt like I did what I needed to do as a sister-in-law, was reach out and see what's my sister-in-law, you know, okay. Was she safe? That's all I was trying to do. I wasn't trying to get any clicks, views, no attention. I wasn't trying to do none of that. I did what was in my heart was to reach out to see was she okay. Point blank, period. Nothing else. Nothing more and nothing less, okay? <clears throat> Let's get that clear. So, <clears throat> now, let me say this. Yes, everyone have the right to take a break from YouTube. Sometimes we need that, okay? If that's what you feel in your heart, in your mind, because YouTube is draining. YouTube is depressing sometimes. So, you do want to take a break sometimes. Okay. If that's what you want to do, that's on you. You don't have to tell nobody. You don't have to announce it. You owe nobody no explanation, period. Okay. And if that's what's going on, hey, I feel her. I have never felt like that, that I want to take a break. I enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy doing my videos, whether you like it or not. It's not what you like. It's what I like and what I do. It's like a job. It is my job. So I do what I want to do, and I do my job. Whether you watch me or not, it's my job. Okay, but <clears throat> let me go into saying this. I understand if somebody wants to take a break for the holidays and go see their, you know, family. Hey, I understand that truly. But again, let me say this. It has nothing to do with me or anybody else. I wasn't trying to be nosy prior into anybody's business. The only thing I was trying to do was making sure my sister-in-law was okay. A lot of people was like, I overstepped my boundaries. I stepped on people's toes. I don't feel like I did. I don't feel like I had to get permission to speak on anything. Because I thought I was grown. Or am I wrong? Am I a kid or am I grown? I think I'm grown. So, I didn't feel the need to get permission to speak on anything that I feel that I want to speak on, you know. Like, I had to get permission. You know, this video shouldn't have never happen. If I did it, it's supposed to happen. I do what I want to do, you know. I, I, I'm a grown woman. And if I feel in my heart that I wanted to reach out and see about my sister-in-law, I didn't feel like nothing was wrong with that. It was being concerned. And if you're not concerned about people, then I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say about you. You know what I'm saying? Not throwing shade at anybody. But this is me. This is, I don't, I can't speak for anybody else. And I won't speak for anybody else. This is how I feel. I don't know how other people feel. I don't know what other people have been through. I don't know. I only can speak on my behalf. Whether we got the fighting, we had, you know, words between one another, whatever the case may be, you still don't wish bad on nobody. You know what I'm saying? So if I felt like I wanted to reach out and see how she was doing, make sure she was good because I hadn't seen her in like five or six days, you know, her notification come across 
I get her notification all the time. So, you know, I didn't get a notification in five or six days that she posted a video. And, and yes, that's alarming. That's with anybody. If I get notifications on people, let me use this for example, and um, I usually get notifications every day on you, and I don't get none in five or six days, then it's alarming to me about you as well. I don't care who you are. You don't have to be a family member of mine. You know, that's just being concerned of people. And I'm not being nosy. I'm not saying, dog, I wonder uh, what they doing. I'm just, I'm going to be like, dang, what's going on? You know, it's alarming. That's not the, the norm for them. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I reached out and did the video. Not to put shame on anybody because I don't have anything to do with anybody else. This is me. This is what I did on my own. I came home and I, I, I told her, I said, look, I did a video, you know, because uh, we hadn't heard from, uh, I hadn't got a notification on uh, Adrian in like five or six days. I said, I did a video. Do you mind if I post it? He said, no, I don't care. It ain't got nothing to do with me, you know. So that's what I did, you know. But he as well said she probably, probably just took a break. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that was his, that was the way he felt. Everybody feel different. You know, things don't affect people the same way. You know what I'm saying? I get, you know, I get like, like the other day when uh, <clears throat> my daughter had pat me on the arm and my uh, alarm was going off at the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when the alarm go off, that's an indication that somebody's trying to break in your house. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, I panic. You know what I'm saying? I panic. Everybody don't do that. Everybody not the same. It was like I wasn't used to not getting her no notification every day. So I was waking up in the morning. I was like, okay, so Adrian ain't did no video. What's going on? So that was in the back of my head. Like, okay, I hope she okay. You know what I'm saying? But that was the way I felt. Had nothing to do with nobody else. That's all I'm saying. Had nothing to do with anyone else. I that's the way I felt. That's in what I felt. I, I just reached out and I thought I did I was doing the right thing. And I still feel like I did the right thing. Whether who, you know, like it or not. I can't make everybody happy. And I won't try to make everybody happy. I can only be me. I can only do what, you know, Cindy want, uh, wants to do, what Cindy Hart tells her to do. That's all I can do. I just got to be me. I can't be anybody else. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't accept me for who I am, then that's on you, you know. I can't change for anybody. I've been like this all my life, and I won't change. Why? Then if I change, then that's when I'm fake. If I pretend to be something that I'm not, then you can call me fake. Until then, I'm going to stay the person I have always been all my life. Can't nobody change me. I have a heart, a big heart. I give people my last because they need it, if they need it. That's the person I am because guess what? You can't take it with you. I know it's important to, you know, say no sometimes. You can't be too nice to people. But if somebody comes to me and they really need it, hey, I'm there. And I ain't trying to brag on myself because I ain't got to brag on myself. I done said this many a times. I, I would give a person a coat off my back if I got a sweater on and they cold. That's the type of person I am. I don't know about anybody else. Because it's some cold-hearted people out here that don't care, care rats but about anybody. But, hey, I'm not going to try to be like nobody else. I'm going to be like me. God been blessing me for 52 years, and I'm going to keep on being me, whether you like it or not. I cannot change, and I will not change. I can't do it. I got to be me. And I genuinely was concerned about Adrian yesterday about her whereabouts. You know, I just wanted to make sure she was okay. And when they told me that the man named Tony did a video and Adrian said to let everybody know she was doing good, hey, that was good enough for me. 
So with that being said, it is what it is. And I will see you guys on the next video.